Welcome to the 46th episode of my series, 50 Days Till 50, where I share different stories from my life, all leading up to my 50th birthday on July 19th. On this episode, I'm going to talk about the time I got an opportunity to interview the Viola Davis. This was before the Oscar, before she got the SAG Award, before the Grammy, and before she got the Emmy. This was even before we were introduced to Annalise Keaton on how to get away with murder. But we all know that Viola Davis didn't need any of those awards to be the Viola Davis. So I was beyond excited to have this opportunity to put a microphone in her face and ask her a question. And I almost didn't get it out because I was so freaking nervous. But you know what calmed my nerves? Making sure I got the interview in the first place. Let me explain. So I'm on the red carpet, right? You see extra, then you see Studio Q right after that, right? So that means when she's finished talking to them, she's going to talk to me. And before extra was a bunch of photographers. So we really were the only ones on the carpet. I think there might have been one other person with a microphone, but it was very few. So just as I'm waiting for my turn to have this amazing moment with Viola Davis, the publicist with her was trying not to have me do the interview because I'm sure she's thinking, I know who Extra is, but who the hell is a Studio Q? But it don't matter who I am. I'm on the carpet and I got a mic. And she was literally trying to guide Viola away from me. Viola had no idea what was going on. She was just going to the next person or the next person. But I knew, I could see out the corner of my eye that this publicist was not interested in me doing an interview with Viola for whatever reason. But if you've been watching my stories, y'all know I got that interview with Viola. Because what you're not going to do is deny me an interview when I'm right in front of her. And I just want y'all to take a look at where my microphone is, right next to extra. So it really shouldn't have been a problem, right? But it was. But as you can see, mission accomplished. So even though I was nervous about trying to formulate my question, I couldn't even concentrate on that because I had to fight for the interview. Now, mind you, this was all nonverbal, but it was real because just because you're on the red carpet does not guarantee you an interview with anybody. This event was put on by an organization called the Genesee Center, which helps women who have been through domestic violence situations. And so I'm going to end this episode with what I asked Viola Davis about what she wanted to teach her daughter, because it not only is a great message for her daughter, but I think it's a great message for anybody. That she deserves the best of everything, and she deserves to be treated and respected like a human being always. And I'm gonna also teach my daughter how to, how to fail. I really am. How to fail, because I think that that's probably what most of life is made out of and how to pick herself back up. And to that publicist who never wanted me to get the interview in the first place, this for you.